Hey guys, I'm Ravana and I'm really happy to be here in another video of the 14 day raw vegan challenge. If you have not subscribed or are not participating in the challenge, you can do that at ravana.com. Subscribe to the 14 day raw challenge so you can send your shopping list and your daily meal plan directly to your email. And well, today, as you can see, I'm out in the park. I'm wearing workout clothes because I want to talk to you about running. Running for beginners. I started running, like really, really running this past year, 2014, and it's something that really changed my life. My physical endurance went through the roof, and not only that, but just relieving stress and everything, I just started feeling so much better, and I really believe it's a great um, exercise for anyone to do. And of course, if you have knee problems, then it wouldn't be a good idea, but if you don't, I really recommend that you do. Now, at the beginning, I used to really feel intimidated by running. If anyone said, oh, do you run? I'd be like, no, like running is for like marathon runners or running is for like really fit people. But honestly, running can be for anyone. And today I'm gonna show you a really easy way that you can start running and do it yourself. So why do we want to run? Well, we all know that our natural state of moving is walking. So honestly, I always say that walking is the best exercise, but running is also really good because as I said, it's gonna improve your physical endurance and you're also gonna burn more fat, more calories, and it'll just be better. Running also strength strengthens your legs, your core, even your arms. You're able to breathe better. All the oxygen is better flowing throughout your body. It releases endorphins and it's just a bunch of benefits. Okay, so how are we gonna start running? What you're gonna do is that you're gonna take 20 minutes, okay? You're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna go out for 20 minutes and you're gonna walk and run. So what you do is that you run for one minute, walk two minutes. I recommend getting a timer watch or on your phone, if you have a timer, just put the timer on so that you can see. And that way it's gonna be really easy for you to run and don't focus on running really fast you can run slow even just jogging is fine don't judge yourself it's I started like that too so you do that if you, in a week in two weeks you feel like you're stronger like you can go on running a little bit more then increase that to 90 seconds a minute and a half run for a minute and a half walk for two minutes run for a minute and a half walk for two minutes if you need to walk a little bit longer you can walk for three minutes run for a minute and a half and so like that you just go and increment your running another great thing about running that i love is that it's so cheap you don't need a gym you don't need anything all you need is a pair of tennis shoes and you can go out and run wherever it's also really cool that when you travel or at least that's what i've experienced if i go to a different place i can experience I can explore the city and running so it's it's another really really cool way to just be outdoors get some vitamin d if you have sun get fresh air and i honestly i love it and i really felt like it was something that i wanted to share with you all because i want you to try it i really want you to try it and you're you're gonna see that you're gonna start feeling amazing really really good so I really hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know in the comments below uh, what your thoughts are if you run, any other tips that you have for running for beginners. And stay tuned for the next video because I'm gonna show you my three favorite post-workout smoothies. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, like the video if you liked it. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm inspiring you every single day to have a healthier lifestyle. I'll see you guys later. Bye!